Hello, Hello Gobu Kid teachers! My name is Paige. And my name is Allison. In this video, we will talk about some helpful tips for the best class experience. We will discuss class length, encouraged behaviors, teaching position, and teaching environment. First, we're going to talk about class length. We all know the normal class length is 25 minutes long, but did you know there are some situations in which the class can be lengthened up to a maximum of 28 minutes? For example, if the student is late for about five minutes, add some extra time and end the class at 28 minutes from the start of class. If an IT problem occurs, you can contact technical support. Once the problem is resolved, resume the class and extend the class up to 28 minutes. It is expected that all teachers finish the slides. Please do your best. Now we are going to discuss encouraged behaviors during class. It's important to remain visible in class at all times. Please leave the camera on and uncovered during the entire class time. For example, if the student is late and the teacher is not visible, when the student comes, they might not see a teacher and leave before the teacher even notices they have arrived. Please do not eat or drink in class. Being fully prepared for class means no food and sips of water only when necessary. Students and parents do notice and appreciate your professionalism. These examples are not appropriate for class. Please remember to remain alert and attentive. It is so important for teachers to be alert and attentive during class. It may be early depending on your time zone, but it shouldn't impact the quality of the class. If you feel tired, you may want to try standing or try some active movements during class. It may also be helpful to schedule breaks and to open classes when you feel the most alert and attentive. For example, yawning or falling asleep show that the teacher is not alert and attentive during the class. Professional appearance is important. It is important to appear professional and take care of your appearance. These are examples of a good professional appearance. These are not examples of a good professional appearance. There are cultural differences around professional appearance. For example, outstanding accessories like large facial piercings and visible tattoos may be perceived as negative. Personal grooming during class is not appropriate, such as putting on lipstick or trimming nails. Attitude is important. Remain patient when students are naughty, parents speak Chinese and you might not understand, and stay active even during difficult hours. Your patience and professionalism is greatly appreciated. And now we will talk about teaching position. So when you find the best place to teach, make sure you are centered on camera. Be careful about being too far up, down, left, or right on screen. Remain in the middle of your camera. Also, please avoid movements that are not related to class, like fidgeting or spinning in your chair. Where you teach is also important, so create a welcoming environment for your students. Sometimes emergencies happen. So make arrangements in advance so that it won't impact your class experience. Mute your phone, keep pets in another room, teach while children are not in need of your care. There are certain places where it is inappropriate for teaching. For example, in a car, in a restaurant with children around or with pets around. Part of maintaining a professional setting is by using relevant props and tools. Please remember not to use your phone for anything that is not related to class activities. Teach in a professional setting where you have access to props and relative tools. In addition to the location, sometimes we forget about the importance of lighting. This lighting is too dark. This lighting is too bright. Go Go Kid teachers are a valued part of the team and your hard work and dedication is a benefit to us all. Thank you for paying attention to important details to ensure a great class experience. Ready, set, go! See you next time! Bye bye! Bye bye!